Hey everybody, this is Nemo, and in this video, we will have an overview of the very first alpha version of PrestaShop 1.6, which means this is a slightly more complete version than uh, the one we saw in previous videos. So, you can uh, go ahead and, of course, download it yourself if you go to the PrestaShop website and then it's uh, community dev old versions you can download it from here or if you uh, don't feel like um, installing it yourself locally or on a website uh, Presta shop has put together a live demo and uh, you will find you will find uh, the link to this live demo below the video so now first things first let's have a look at how Presta shop 1.6 looked before and how it looks now so <coughs> Here is before. This is the version I showed you last time. You can see it's pretty, well, broken. And now, hold your breath. Here it is now. This is Preston Shop 1.6 Alpha 1. And you can see it's pretty slick. Yes. Uh, it's cool. Uh, lots and lots of improvements have been made. And so, let's go through them. I will not be able to cover them all, of course, but uh, I will try to keep the video short and uh, go through uh, the most important or evident ones. First, the Mega Menu. Now, I've added a couple of links here, but you can see you finally have a truly Mega drop-down menu out of the box. This is just amazing, I think. Uh, now, these are first-level categories. I added this one. These are uh, the uh, sub-level and these are other levels. Um, as I, uh, as you might uh, notice, there might be an issue if you add, uh, at the time being, if you add many sub-categories. But uh, hopefully, Press the Shop will fix this and allow us to um, tweak the maximum uh, depth uh, of categories you want to get on this top menu. But Gosh, this is quite slick. So, uh, let's go ahead. The slider, of course, many improvement have improvements have made made uh, to the slider, and then you have these um, customizable advertising blocks. Now we'll go through these because these are configurable from the back office from what's called uh, and Presta Shop didn't have this so far. It's called the Theme Configurator. Yes, you can finally, finally, I would say, uh, configure your Presta Shop template, at least the default one, from the back office. And I hope this will become a standard for all Presta Shop templates, both uh, free and paid ones. But uh, we will cover this a bit later in the video. Uh, let's go down, scroll down the page. You can see uh, the, the tabs we already saw in the previous video, but Look at what happens. Now, I enable a slick feature I found. Look. Look at this. This is quick view. This is so slick. I believe, and uh, I don't know if I'm, if I'm wrong, if I'm mistaken or not, but I believe uh, PrestaShop 1.6 will be the only one free open source e-commerce software to offer such a feature out of the box. I mean, this is so slick. I'm, I'm always so excited when I uh, discovered uh, this feature. So, let's go ahead and see something else. Scroll down again. These are customizable from the back office. And, of course, they are all multi-language enabled. So, for each language of your store, you will be able to set up an appropriate advertisement and so uh, target specific countries, specific languages, which uh, is, I, I mean, it's amazing, I think. Then, again, we have, a, 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 this is um, a CMS block, which is, again, configurable from the back office, and the adjusted footer, which, which we uh, already saw. So, to the back office, this is the dashboard of PrestaShop's, uh, PrestaShop 1.6 back office. And let's have a look at those modules I mentioned. So this is the modules page. I will look for the theme configurator. Configure. 
you can see a plethora of options here. Now, some are not working so far, but some are. For example, display social buttons on the products page. So I will now go to a product page, which is pretty similar to uh, what we saw before. Now I will enable social buttons, save, reload the page, and you can see social buttons are here. And this is amazing. This is uh, powered by share this. And of course, if you go back and, and hit uh, configure, you can choose which one you want to show. Amazing, amazing, just amazing. Now, let's scroll down again. You can choose how to display, let me go back to the home page, how to display these texts and images directly from the back office. Now look how slick, how slick this looks. Look at how slick this looks. <laughs> uh, you can go back and see other things as well, of course. Uh, this is uh, the second part I mentioned about uh, advertisement blocks. So you have, uh, I, I think uh, we will have images of those blocks here. Uh, for now, there are not, so it's quite uh, confusing. But if I click edit, you can see they are showing up. So there are some for the home hook, which is this one. Then we have these ones for the, I believe it was top. And then uh, it will be possible to hook to the left, right, and footer. I believe left is the category page, which we already saw. So uh, I, I believe um, any uh, ad added to uh, the left hook uh, will be displayed here. So here is the category page. We already saw this previously. We already saw uh, list grid switcher. Again, we have quick views here as well. Uh, the overall design has been adjusted a bit since last time, so it looks a bit, uh, a bit better overall, I think. Now, um, let's see something else, which is again so slick. And again, it was added in uh, PrestaShop 1.6. It was not there before as it's part of the theme configurator. So I will go back to theme configuration and if I click Live Configurator, look at what happens. Press the shop finally has a built-in theme configuration options. And look at what happens if I click here. Now it's a bit broken, but you can change the color theme right out of the box. I think no other, again, no other e-commerce software, uh, open source, non-paid free e-commerce softwares, off software offers this kind of option. It's broken. It's a bit broken. You can see it's uh, weird. Uh, the uh, color swatches are not linked properly. However, uh, this is this is simply amazing. I think so. It will be possible to change the color theme, the font, from this small and cool panel. And this is just amazing. Of course, if you uh, change your mind, you could go back and reset your changes. As the last thing, of course, I forgot to mention, uh, this is configurable from the back office as well. Uh, it's a new module. It's called, I believe, Banner. Yes, Banner Block. And uh, this, this one doesn't seem to be a uh, multi-language so far. Hopefully, it will be as well. Now, let's see, uh, for example, yes, um, last time we saw this, it was broken, so no image was displayed here. So, uh, they fixed it, finally. Let's go ahead and try to check out. As you can see, a really, really slick checkout, and look at what happened to the payment methods. A lot clearer. This will, will really, really boost sales. And uh, again, a really clear, payment page and a, a payment summary page as well. So slick, really slick. Well, uh, I think uh, we can stop here for now. Uh, as you can see, many, many slick features added to PrestaShop 1.6. Uh, I believe 
1.6 will be the perfect candidate to be the number, really the number one free e-commerce software to offer such a plethora of uh, features right out of the box. So if you got excited, you can again uh, download uh, the PrestaShop 1.6 Alpha 1 preview version from the PrestaShop website. You can test out uh, the, um, the live demo PrestaShop has put uh, together. Uh, and uh, have a look yourself at these uh, sleek new features. There are some other things, but no worries, we will cover them in the next and upcoming videos. So uh, just stay tuned. And as always, if you have other questions, feel free to contact me at nemo at nemops.com. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.